Welcome everyone, LDO Please MC here, and today I am going to be showing you how I edit my videos. So, um, yeah, let's get right into this. So, uh, I use two editing softwares, and it's all on my iPad, which um, it's pretty cool. Uh, I don't, I'm not that big of a fan of using computers. I don't know. Um, iPad is just easy for me to get my uh, my computer. I have to go find it, charge it, and it just takes a while. So, um, yeah, let's get right into this. So, uh, I use two applications. I think I said that before. Uh, and no, that's not what I want. Okay. So the first application is iMovie. iMovie I use a lot, and yeah. So. Uh, it is like two dollars or something. I got it for free because I was actually gonna get it at the certain time when it was like five dollars. I don't even remember the price, but um, then I came back to it after school and it was free, so that was kind of cool. And then now it's money again. I don't know what happened, but it was free. So yeah. Anyway, um, I'm just gonna show you the trailer for this. So yeah, that's iMovie, guys. Um, I use it for like cutting and adding uh, small just text to my videos, um, and compressing them and making them backwards. And just is really good editing app, guys. So next one is oh, jeez, what happened there? There we go. Okay, next one is Replay. Something's going on with my iPad here. As you can see, uh, this is one, and I will show you the uh, trailer for that too. So uh, before I do that, this is uh, really stylish and adds really cool text. Um, unlike iMovie, iMovie uh, just kind of small little things, but this creates awesome intros and uh, it's very uh, good editor. Um, and you can compress videos as well. Uh, do note that um, at first when you buy the app you get like three things like uh, three uh, themes free uh, each week um, and then they change uh, every time so like I have three uh, three themes and then and then the next week comes then those themes are gone and then there's another three themes so yeah and it comes with a watermark so yeah the watermark is going to be like on the corner of the video but yeah so um it takes ten dollars to um remove the watermark and get all the themes which i did that and i think it was really really well worth it so i do recommend using replay um, it's just a really, really good editor, and it's probably the best editor you're ever going to get on your iPad um, for text and stuff. I still use iMovie because it's good for cutting and stuff like that. Uh, so, yeah, that is Replay. So, I'm just going to go ahead and open this up to show you a few things. Um, so yeah, I did buy the uh, full version, and it's an in-app purchase. Um, so yeah. I don't know why it's taking so long, but it is. Oh my gosh. So, there's one thing. Just to show you the text that you can add to this, I am going to add a text here. 
um, below. See, it has a really cool pop-up text, um, and let's just select the phone. Uh, old time movie. I don't just stop mode. Flick. Raw. Tinted. Toss. That one's pretty fast. <laughs> so as you can see, there is very uh, cool um, themes here. And I just really love this app. I don't love this one too much because it adds like filters to the pictures and stuff. Um, it's kind of bug bugs me, but the overall text and tra transitions are really cool. But um, I wish they wouldn't add all these uh, weird themes. I Wait, maybe you can edit it. Maybe. Oh, no, you can't. So yeah, as you see, you can edit your theme too. Add uh, new fonts, um, filters, and different colors as well. So if I go back here, which I can't, no, there it goes. Just draw this. This one's pretty cool. I don't like it that much because it's just kind of like weird. I don't know. But it's just not natural. Um, but yeah, if you want it, then you can use it. I don't even know if you heard me right there, but uh, music's loud for me anyway. Hello. And there's this. And then there's this. So then there's a uh, sunny, and then these are like themes for like. So there's just like summer, uh, winter. No, nope, not winter. That's fall, and then that's winter. That's obvious. So snowflake and stuff. Um, That. Oh great, got low battery. I should be able to finish this up. Uh, so yeah. Pretty cool guys. Um and yeah. So um iMovie. I'll have to probably well whatever. Um I don't have much battery, so if this dies, then sorry. Um, but yeah, 
So to add text to your videos in iMovie, uh, as you can see here, it's like a bunch of exclamation points. It's because I already deleted this clip in my photo library, so yeah. Um, but if you're gonna add text, um, what I do is I so say I wanted to add text to this, but I didn't want it for the full clip. So well, you just want to do titles, and then you want to select your kind of title. I'm just gonna start to pop up, um, and I'm gonna do the lower corner, and I can just edit that. Done, and then I don't want it for the full video, um, because it's too long. Well, uh, wherever you want it to end, you go ahead and go to actions, and up here it says split. You just hit split. There you go, and it will end the text right there. So if we play this again, eh. there goes. the text will end at that splitting point. So yeah, that's. If you want uh, like a deeper tutorial, then just ask me in the description, and I will sure um, help you on that. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment like always. And uh, see you guys later.